Teddy. So this is the wonderful Teddy the Shetland. He's come to stay at our yard, which is just amazing because he's so, so adorable and cute. I mean, like, look at this. Main goal's right here. Teddy won't let anyone into his secrets, but he's absolutely adorable. And look at this amazing Kentucky rug. Popcorn has the same one, so when they meet, I'm going to put Popcorn in his Kentucky Navy rug and it's going to be absolutely adorable. I cannot wait for Popcorn and Teddy to meet today because we've got so much fun planned and I Popcorn loves miniature ponies. So, Rome came to the yard for a photo shoot, he was a little miniature pony and then Cloudy came to the yard and Popcorn absolutely loves Cloudy. Um, they're like literally brothers, so hopefully Popcorn is going to, well, I'm not even going to say hopefully because I just know already that Popcorn is going to absolutely adore Cloudy. Teddy. No, 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 not Cloudy, Teddy. Too many Shetlands in my life right now. Also, he's, he's a bit smaller than Cloudy, so um, I'm not going to be riding him because he's a bit small, but I mean, all of his mane and tail and forelock are just so thick and long. I mean, this is like almost touching the ground right now. But he's also got a little fluffy beard. So cute. And then underneath here is just Flufftopia. Fluff, fluff, fluff and more fluff. You're the floof monster. Harlan, look who this yes. is. Teddy the Shetland. And don't sneeze on me. Do you like him? Mm. He's cute. He's adorable. How much do I feel his ears? His ears are very fluffy. Hey, Teddy. Teddy is He's a so Teddy small. and he's fluffy. He's a fluff monster, isn't he? Yeah. What? Smell my toes, please, Teddy. See if they're nice or not. Harlan, are you going to be riding Teddy today? Yeah. I think what we're going to be starting off with is doing some tricks with Teddy because his owner Alice is here and I hear he does like paw and then play dead and then lie down and I think that's just absolutely adorable. I do want to get some kind of learning and teaching skills off of... Hi, hi Teddy off of Alice because then I can hopefully teach Cloudy to do it. And talking of Cloudy, he won't be able to meet Teddy today because he is at Shetland training for a couple of days. They're going to get him all good and just that kind of Shetland spark that they need to do the racing. So he's going to get all trained up, but Popcorn is still going to be able to meet, meet Teddy. This is getting really confusing. Popcorn, Cloudy, Teddy, very lot of names. Harlan, do you want to brush his beard? <laughs> Wait, where's it? Sorry. All yeah. that fluffy bit there. Can you brush it, make it? <laughs> Come back, Teddy. <laughs> ah, what are you doing? He's sniffing your hair. <laughs> Does he have a normal way of? Ah, stop. How do I get the hair off the tail? Just pull it. Pull it. Oh. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, his little hooves. Mm. Can I pick up his feet and see his hooves? Yeah, that's right. Wait, you can actually hold it. Mommy, hold my stick. Okay. Oh my god! Let me see. I can hold his whole entire hoof in my hand. There we go, look. I can just. Look at that frog, it's tiny. Oh my god! Her little Don't keep me. That's how he does his Alice, can we do some tricks with him now? Yeah, sure. Just take him to the back of the seat. Or we'll just put your, put your hand over his neck, that's it. This way. <laughs> He's like, the door's this way, guys. This way. We've taught him that if you pick his foot up like this and then just tap him on the shoulder like that, oh my God. he'll lie down. And he'll actually like roll over so that you can tickle oh, his Teddy. Body. So if you scratch him on the neck, he'll stay there for as long as you want, basically. Hi. And he learned how to do it because when he first had the farrier, the farrier picked up his feet and he just like ended up capsizing and being oh. on his side. And um, 
yeah, the pharaoh found it quite amusing that he had to do his feet upside down. Can I just take down. him home and put him in my bed? I can get him lined up and then do you want to have a go? Yeah, sure. So if you stand on this side, because this is his lying down side, and pick up that foot. That's it. <laughs> He's been stopping with his feet today. There we go. Oh, thank you. And then tap with the other hand on the, his shoulder. That's it. It. And he'll just slowly look. He's going. There we go. Oh, there we go. And now yay. scratch his neck. <laughs> the little scratch is the sort of well done. Yay. <laughs> I could just lie here forever with him. <laughs> He's just staying here. He does. If you scratch him, he'll stay there for a whole day and a whole night, probably. Yeah. When he was little, he used to come in the stable and literally just like lie on my lap, oh. like he was a dog. We've never seen Popcorn lie down. Have you not? Ever. Maybe he does it in private. Yeah. Maybe he's a private pony. Because his rug is quite poo stained, so he must. Oh, so he must do it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to get up? Teddy loves lying what? down. He even sometimes lies down in the lorry. Really? <laughs> Which he's not meant to. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't tie him up because otherwise it ends in disaster. Oh, does he like to lie down? But he's like, it makes him <laughs> Yeah, so he can't quite lie down. <laughs> oh no. What other tricks can he do, Alice? Um, do you have any treats? I can show you his paw, yeah. but he might only do it for a treat because he's greedy. So if you go like this, paw. Oh my give you God. His paw. And then I just give him a treat. And then I've taught him so that you can do the other one too. Paw. Paw. I mean, oh it's not really a paw, goodness. is it? It's probably a hoof. <laughs> <laughs> so he does that. Paw. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> You'll dig to Australia, won't you, until you get your treat? <laughs> he then starts doing it without you even telling oh. him. <laughs> No, not before you've done your trick, mister. Yes, I... Good boy. <laughs> oh, he's so gentle. <laughs> oh, good boy. It's quite amusing, though, because now whenever he, he wants something, you just see his paws going. <laughs> Paw. Paw. How old is Teddy? He is five, is so he? he's still quite baby, actually. He's oh, going to be six goodness. this year. He's a, he was born late, late in July, so he's quite a young baby for... This year. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, I've got quite a lot left. <laughs> he's like, well, I'll be doing this all day, so that's fine. <laughs> Does he ever get really muddy and dirty? No, he's actually like, he's the strangest pony in the world because he really hates getting dirty. Oh. Is popcorn like rolling? Not really, no. He's quite he, clean. Yeah. yeah. Teddy doesn't really like mud, so we're really oh. lucky because he's obviously like this colour, yeah. which should be really and easy very, to And very, very fluffy. So everyone always says, how's he so clean? But he's actually a bit of a clean freak. He doesn't like getting dirty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. popcorn's quite a clean freak. I think they're going to get on quite well in a minute then. Yeah. Does he ever give you little nibbles? No, he's quite good actually. We make sure we don't give him too many treats because then they yeah. get a bit nippy, don't they? Because he visits, um, he goes into hospitals and stuff, so he can't Aww. just steal biscuits off people's oh, trays. Yeah. <laughs> so he has to be really well behaved. Don't you? Oh, it's just time to get up. Peggy! He's um, now had a taste of the... The only trick Popcorn does is smile. That's a good one, though. Yeah. You showed it to me last night. It was very impressive. Yeah. Teddy sort of, he probably would do it. We kind of only, we do it because he just smiles so much. <laughs> and we thought, he'd be good for smiling tricks. I bet you could teach Teddy to smile in a few, few minutes. Should I try? Do you want to try? Smile. Smile. <laughs> He's like, smile. Oh, oh, good boy. Smile. Oh, let him chew that one first. <laughs> smile. Smile. Oh, good. <laughs> See? It's sort of a teethy smile. Yeah. Should we get Popcorn and Teddy to meet now? 
Yeah, that'd be great. Wait, should I put popcorn to leather head collar on so they're like full matchy matchy? Yeah. He has a matching rug too, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, let's go get him ready. That'd be very cute. I'm so excited for them to meet. Popcorn's so gentle with little small ponies and horses. So this is going to be very, very interesting. And they're literally identical. They've got the exact same rug on right now and I'm just so excited. He's quite chill at the moment, but he's going to get quite excited in a minute. Let's go! Yeah. Popcorn's like, why am I going into the arena without any tack on? Who's this? Who's that, Popcorn? <laughs> Popcorn's obsessed. It's little, literally little and large. <laughs> Popcorn's obsessed. <laughs> He's just like Teddy, he doesn't understand personal space. <laughs> Teddy's <exactly. laughs> Oh, it's adorable. Oh my God, look at his nose.
<laughs> what are you still Jim, doing? Yeah, that's good. They look a bit long. Do you want the map? So you put the map a few bowls. If you're jumping, you might Do they? Oh, I ride quite long. Do you? Yeah. So I am now riding Alice's advanced event horse. So what is his show name? He's called the Little Frenchman. The Little Frenchman. And his stable name's Finley. Oh. And he's very experienced. He's done lots of He's things. absolutely gorgeous. He's Thank so shiny. You. <laughs> He's quite a lot bigger than Popcorn. I think he knows it too, look at that face. <laughs> yeah, so what's the highest that he's jumped? He's, so he's evented at Advance, which is a metre 30. Uh -huh. So that's wow. for cross country and show jumping. So he's jumped quite big fences. Yeah. And he's not very big, he's only about 14.3. So really? he's pretty, it's pretty rare to find a pony that small that will jump that big. So he's um, one of the smallest horses in the world to have competed at advanced level, which is a wow. metre 30. So the jumps are, if you can imagine, you can see how tiny his ears are and how short <laughs> yeah. his legs are. You can barely see his face from the other side of the jump when he's taking off. He's really, really, really? small for that height of fences. So yeah, he's a bit of a freak of nature. And he's, um, he's competed in lots of the top events, so he's very special. Yeah. <laughs> He's excited, huh, Yeah, I'm very <laughs> excited. He's absolutely gorgeous as well. Right, do you want to get him to walk on? We can maybe stay in this part of the arena to begin with. You can ride him exactly like you ride popcorn. He doesn't need okay. like a huge amount of kicking or anything. He just needs a little squeezes here and there, but you can have a nice contact and he'll listen to you. He, see, he, when he's got someone different on him, he'll slow down and just, um, just check that they're okay and that they want to go at that speed. He's very oh. good at looking after people. You can see him like stopping just to check you're okay. Oh. What does he feel like compared to popcorn? His like trot strides are quite a lot bigger than <laughs> popcorns. <laughs> yeah, especially they're a lot bigger than cloudies. He's Cloudy's. like a mini horse, isn't he? He's yeah. quite different. That's lovely. You can give him a few a few little niggles with your inside drain and then you can sort of soften and then he then he listens. That's it. That's really good. Little niggle on the inside. Little play with the inside. That's really good. That's it. Good. Then he just softens like that. That's really nice. Little play with your inside drain. You have to work, don't you? <laughs> He's a bit bigger than popcorn. Yeah. So keep it together. He's got that floaty trot that he goes off on. That's it. If you just shorten your range, they can be much shorter than you actually think. Really? That's it. That's good. See, see the moment you shorten them, he comes round. That's it. And then literally, you just once you've got him there, you just need to hold your hands, hands there and he'll go into your contact. That's it. Little play. He's really nearly in a perfect position. Little play with your inside hand. Good, that's really nice. Do you want to change the rein across the diagonal and just go around on the other rein? That's it, have a, have a little play as you change your, the rein with your inside hand, your new inside hand. That's it. And remember, if you want him to slow down, just slow your riding and he's really responsive. That's lovely. See how he slowed down there, that was really nice. Little play with your inside. Lovely. He's floating for you. Little play with your inside. Lovely. Really nice. As you ask for canter, both use your leg and give him a little half halt so that he can go into canter like that. Okay, so try now. That's it. Sit up straight, back, sit back on your shoulders. That's good. And I want you to circle here and see how slow you can go by sitting up in your shoulders. So you can give him a little half halt and sit up in your shoulders. See, that's good. See, he, all, he knows what he's doing, so he goes back into Trot Finley. That's a very flashy Whoa. Trot. <laughs> he's doing a very flashy Trot. 
Try again, but you just have to keep your legs squeezing on him as yeah. you sit up in that canter. He's got like quite a forward long he canter. He's got a lot, you describe it as he's got a lot of gears in his canter, hasn't he? Yeah. So he can go forward and back and, and he's very responsive to the way you sit on him, mm. which is good. Because it means that if okay. you want to stop, you literally just sit up and he's there. Okay. But see how he wants to look after you. So the moment you sat up, he's like, oh, she wants me to drop. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, go, go again, but just squeeze with your leg as you sit up and then he'll carry on cantering, but even slower. I'm just, just testing your gears for jumping to make sure that you can do the slowest canter you, you want to do. God, God knows why he's grunting. Yeah. Whoa! That's it. <laughs> Half halt, that's it. Steady him up. Slow your rising. Good, yeah. See, the moment you slow your rising, he understands. That is ve that very, very different. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> stitch. You put a stitch? Yeah. <laughs> is that hard work? Yeah. He was grunting. I think he was enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Because he's got no one on him. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's like free schooling. <laughs> he's so lightweight. <laughs> and that's it. Good. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Steady. That's it. She looks so tiny on him. That's it. Nice. Lovely. The moment he gets distracted and looks somewhere else, just give him a little reminder with your hand, just a gentle play with the rain, and then he goes back like that again. That's lovely. That's so nice. That's really good. And see how you can sort of put your leg on and just ride him into that contact. That's really good. That's it. That's it. Sit up really straight, hands low, good girl. He's going to jump it, so you just have to sit up. Sit up, good girl, really nice. <laughs> he heard you, he was like, you're like, I want to canter, and he was like, you said okay. You were going to canter out the door, and then he thought you meant it. I was saying, I, I want to canter. You were going to canter, but he just thought you wanted to because you were talking you about the whip. You said it and he listened. <laughs> you said, Gallop! Go, Tony, go! Didn't you? He's like, oh, let's go! Let's go, boys! Let's go, boys! Again. You want to do the canter again? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Hold it on. So, yeah, today was absolutely amazing. Popcorn had a blast. You had a very fun time, didn't you? Yes, you did. Oh, he's just chilling with his foot rested and his head's over the stable door. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna get these poos out of this stable and talk about today. Today was amazing. I got to ride um, Alice's very, very experienced eventer, which was amazing. His trot 
was quite a lot bigger and his canto was quite a lot bouncier than popcorns, I must say. But yeah, it was really, really fun. Popcorn had quite a lot of fun as well today. Him going around that arena was just hilarious. And Popcorn always is the instigator. So he always likes to hype everything up. Oh, he's, he's tired, he just did a massive yawn. Are you a bit tired? And then after, he literally turned into an Arab. He was like, <laughs> I think that was his way of saying, Teddy, let's go. They were both puffing so much at the end of it. They were going around for ages. Popcorn just loved Teddy so much. That was the first time Popcorn ever met Teddy. And I just knew that Popcorn was gonna absolutely love him because Popcorn, he just loves Shetlands. Like he loves Cloudy. He loved Rome and he absolutely loves Teddy. So yeah, it was absolutely amazing. What a day, it has been so fun and exciting. I'm so excited to get a Cloudy back soon because I think Popcorn's missing him a bit. I'm just tidying up Popcorn's stable before he goes to bed and he's waiting for his din-dins. But in the meantime, he's having a little munch munch on his hay. You can see in his hay, he's got a hole there. But yeah, oh my God, you can see here where there's th been this down because um, one of the wow. new liveries just came back from a dressage popcorn a dressage event. There's a bit of a dent here because... No! Oh, popcorn! Popcorn! No, no, no! No! Oi! No! No! <laughs> Give them back! Let go of them, Popcorn! No! No! Yes! He stole the tree back! <laughs> wait! Wait, let go! Let go! Give yeah. them back! Let go! Oh, my God! <laughs> Back to saying he didn't get treats in his. Look, what's this? He goes in there. Look. We're trying. We're trying to teach him how to use it. He does kind of know how to use it, but. And also, Harling got to ride Teddy today, which was absolutely adorable. So you love popcorn and Cloudy and Teddy, don't you? He had a really good time riding Teddy and he actually had a little canter on Teddy. It, he wasn't supposed to, but Teddy decided, no, because Harlan said, I'm going to go for this, let's go galloping. And then Teddy decided, yeah, let's go. So, and he just decided that he was going to canter all the way up the lane. So, luckily, Alice managed to get him. Are you a witch? <laughs> It was very funny, but we didn't get it on video. So guys, I'm gonna head home now. I'm getting a bit tired. Oh, <laughs> smiles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he says, you want a kiss? I'll kiss your face. Oh, got popcorn slobber on me now. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.